call it the inside, the bright side, and the dark side of personality. So the bright side is about understanding those day-to-day -day strengths um, that this individual brings to the table. How well do they match the role? And how can they capitalize on those strengths as they look at developing as an individual in the organization? Second, we look at potential derailing characteristics. So what characteristics, potential derailing characteristics this individual bring to the table that could impede their success within the organization? And then finally, we want to understand their values. So what gets them up out of bed in the morning? What makes them tick? What are they looking to achieve in life? And through this holistic approach, it gives us the option of understanding from a pre-hire perspective, do they want the job? Can they do the job? And what could get in the way of their success of the job? From a development perspective, it's understanding what do they want out of life? How are they going to achieve it? And then again, what could get in their way of success? So from an individual perspective, it's a concept we call strategic self-awareness. So we want leaders to understand themselves. We want leaders to understand what cards have they been dealt from a personality characteristic perspective and how can they best play those cards uh, when interacting with others or when trying to perform on the job. We find that there's a lot of variance in the types of characteristics that lead to successful individuals. But what we do find consistently is that those individuals who are successful know themselves very, very well. And so they're able to avoid those weaknesses and capitalize on those strengths. So this is something we do regularly with organizations that we work with. Our clients ask this. They want to know, are the assessment solutions that we put into place, are they performing? Are they working? There's a very large segment of Hogan's business. It's a research team that looks at key measurable objectives. They correlate that with the outcomes of our personality assessments. And at any given point in time, with the organizations that we work with that have assessment solutions, we can say definitively, here is the return on investment. Typically, we see exponential returns on that investment when we talk about the actual costs of either a bad hire, the actual costs of a leader that's not performing optimally or to their potential. A personality is a set of intrinsic characteristics that help predict people's behaviors. Um, our clients find it very valuable as it helps predict um, how someone will fit into an organization or how they might perform on their particular role. We find that organizations are very good at assessing whether someone is capable, so whether they have the skills, the abilities, the qualities that they're looking for for a particular role, but oftentimes they're not good at assessing the personality. So we hear it all the time. Someone says, well, we hired this individual because they fit all the qualifications that we had, yet we wound up firing that individual because they did not, their personality characteristics kept them from succeeding in their particular role. So we think it's very important for organizations to assess an individual's characteristics, personality characteristics, and to determine whether that matches what they're asking that individual to do in the role and whether that fits the culture of the organization itself. People bring different characteristics to the table. Um, for instance, uh, we look at individuals maybe that are applying for an accounting role. We look for characteristics that might show conscientiousness, detail orientation, rule abiding individuals. Conversely, for someone who's in a sales role, we might look for characteristics that are more about being outgoing, resilient, able to take setbacks, and be able to drive through through results from a sales perspective. From a Hogan perspective, it's about matching these individual characteristics to the roles and responsibilities um, that are required or that the organization is looking for in that particular situation. At Hogan, we use our personality assessments or our psychometrics to help organizations understand what they're going to get out of this individual. So oftentimes they're very good at, at certain aspects of the hiring process as far as looking at skills, qualities, um, you know, characteristics that they're looking for from a capabilities perspective. But Hogan's assessments can provide a more in-depth look into what this individual brings uh, from an intrinsic characteristics perspective. How is this individual wired? How well does that match up to the role? And uh, will this individual hit the ground running um, in the situation that we're putting them in?